Clinton Prairie Junior Senior High School, a small rural farming community about 45 minutes north of Indianapolis, a community devastated by loss in recent years. On February 5, 2019, days before the one-year anniversary of one of their losses, I arrive on campus. We spend two hours in the auditorium talking about life, who are we, what we've been through, where are we, where are we going, and how we're going to get there. Afterwards, one after another, students are lined up wanting to talk. They're opening their hearts, needing support, guidance, validation. They want to be heard. Or is it that they're broken and they're asking for help? Why me? I came to this beautiful community to speak truth, to share my heart, to talk life. I talk to them like young, mature people because they're having to deal with issues that they shouldn't have to deal with. This is real, and they prefer real talk about real life. I worked with their amazing counselors and teachers. They're all hurting, and sometimes it just takes an outsider, a different perspective to show that you care and you're validating their feelings and their thoughts. Parents and community, many teens fill the auditorium at night seeking answers to the most commonly asked questions. Today's teens are hurting. They're being raised in broken homes, forcing our schools to have to do more with less. Stay focused. And if you're ever finding that something you're doing is not the right thing, ask for help. That's it, right? Be proactive to move forward. And we did. We touched hearts and we changed lives. We were able to process, grieve, and move forward. We did it together in a safe and effective way. No pieces left to have to be picked up. The climate, the culture, it changed. We all are responsible for how we worked together and came to this point of acceptance. Thank you, Clinton Prairie. You were beautiful and you'll always be in my heart.